From the Desert's News Leader, this is Breaking News. Breaking right now, an explosive wildfire in L.A. County, north of Los Angeles in the Santa Clarita area. This is a live picture right now on the left with video on the right. The fire has grown dramatically since it first started this afternoon. Hello, welcome to News Channel 3 at 630 and streaming live at KESQ.com. I'm John White and we begin tonight with breaking news coverage on this large fire, the tick fire burning in L.A. County. Here's video now from Michael Dubron, a firefighter paramedic with L.A. County Fire. You can get a glimpse of what it's like to be battling these fires and the battle that they are really facing when you're right in there. Now back to the live picture. Firefighters have been on this fire since around 2 this afternoon. The tick fire now stands at 5,000 acres with mandatory evacuations in place. Fire officials say this fire has now slowed down its forward progress at least. Several structures have been destroyed by flames while others are still threatened. Stay with News Channel 3 on the air and online at KESQ.com for any new development. And we have some breaking news we are following right now just west of the Coachella Valley. Let's take a live look right now of this bad crash in the city of Paris. Riverside County Sheriff's deputies say a number of cars crashed. This is 4th Street. You can see it there in the intersection and parking lot near a building. We're told that as you can see this very large car, possibly a truck crashed into that building nearby. A number of people injured. Stay with us online for any new information. Again, live look from Paris right now at a bad crash where a number of people are hurt. Barry, we begin tonight with multiple breaking news stories. We'll get to the latest on a woman's death investigation in Palm Springs in a moment. But first, we have confirmed a number of businesses have been evacuated in Palm Desert as firefighters battle a blaze at the Burtek recycling site. Let's take a live look right now. That's what you're seeing on the left side of your screen. On the right side, video from overhead taken by a drone. The fire broke out just after five this afternoon at the location off of Corporate Way and Hovely Lane. You can see a lot of smoke in the area. People calling in to the newsroom about this. Businesses to the east and the south of that recycling site were ordered to evacuate. Firefighters say that what's on fire appears to be a number of cardboard pallets. They plan on staying at the scene to try and put out this blaze for at least the next few hours. Stay with News Channel 3 for any new details. Also breaking police looking for the public's health in the death investigation of a woman found in a Coachella Valley Water District replenishment pond at the north end of Palm Springs last week. Police released these photos of 25 year old Winter Nichols. They say she was last seen walking around the spa resort casino two days before her body was found on May 28th. Here's another one, a surveillance photo in which you can see her holding a very large stuffed bear. She's also barefoot. Anyone with information on her death is asked to call Palm Springs Police. So we begin this morning with continuing breaking news out of Idlewild where the Cranston fire is still burning. We have complete team coverage on the fire this morning, burning just above the West Valley. Kelly Moody is standing by with current conditions in Idlewild, but we begin now with Jeremy Chen alive in Idlewild with the latest on evacuations. Jeremy. Well, I can certainly tell you this. There was a lot of anxiety among the residents here in the Idlewild area due to the fact that they all had to be evacuated. The magnitude 6.4 earthquake about 170 miles from Palm Springs on the minds of many Californians, including some here in the Coachella Valley. That quake struck just after 1030 this morning in the Mojave Desert. It happened in Ridgecrest, about three hours north of the valley. Take a look at some of the video that shows the strength of this quake. Store items thrown all over the aisles, falling from shelves. The Kern County Fire Captain says the fire department got calls for water and gas leaks along with one house fire and these cracks in the road. The power of this earthquake felt all across Southern California and up into Las Vegas. Check out this home security video. It captures the moments that this home started shaking in the Southland. Also some video from our own newsroom where the lights hanging from the ceiling swayed. Seismologist Lucy Jones described the 6.4 quake as a strike slip quake. That's when two plates along a fault move parallel to each other, but in opposite directions. This is an area with a lot of little faults that, that in a rather complex area. It does suggest that Ridgecrest uh, uh, was particularly hard hit. 
Jones also says the area where the quakes hit is a sparsely populated area, so the number of those affected at the epicenter should be low. China Lake Naval Air Base sits nearby. In the minutes after the quake, we got a handful of videos from viewers showing the water and their pools sloshing back and forth and chandeliers swaying. Here's what some people told us out on the street. I kept going and going, and I'm sitting on the table, I'm sitting in my chair, and I'm holding onto the table, and I'm going like, okay, do I need to get underneath the table, or what do I do? We also got a number of Facebook posts, one viewer describing it as very wavy in Palm Desert, while another person said it was rock and roll in Desert Hot Springs. Caltrans is sharing new video of crews making repairs to sections of Highway 178. That's the route that connects Ridgecrest and Trona, the communities impacted by two major earthquakes last week. We went around the area and started checking our, all of our structures like our bridges. Meanwhile, the San Bernardino County Fire Damage Assessment Team has assessed the damage in that area. 31 homes and eight businesses were red tagged, meaning they were not livable, while 51 homes and four businesses had moderate damage. About 180 other buildings are either abandoned, collapsed, or burned. The heat is definitely on with temperatures soaring into the triple teens. Gonna do what you can in order to stay cool. This is video from this morning of kids in Cathedral City beating the heat by playing in the fountain of life. Let's turn now to first alert chief meteorologist Haley Clausen with more on this really scorching weather Haley. It really is both Palm Springs as well as thermal coming in today with a high temperature of 116. Tonight we are hearing exclusively from the Indio family who narrowly escaped with their lives after a palm tree crushed their apartment. Take a look. If you can help, help for my kids. Like I tell my husband, I don't care about me. I already lived, but my children are just starting out. They don't have clothes and they don't have shoes neither. Alvaro Martinez and Maria Barosa say the palm tree toppled onto their home, crushing their child's crib early Saturday morning. No one was seriously hurt, but the parents say that is only because their two young children were sleeping in their bed that night instead of the crib where they usually slept. They're now looking for help rebuilding their lives as they were not allowed to take anything from their home. We've got contact information on our website, KSQ.com. A crash on the 10 freeway this morning near Cabazon left one man dead. CHP even saying that seatbelts probably could not have saved him. But the damage to the cab of the truck, the, the first tree impact was on the passenger side. It may, may or may not have made a difference in this situation. Police say that box truck ran off the roadway on the eastbound side. The two men inside were headed to Indio for work. A 57-year-old Yukaipa man was killed. In Aguanga, a woman is hospitalized in critical condition following this crash around 5 p.m. off of Highway 371 east of Lake Riverside Drive near the Kauia Casino. CHP says the woman swerved and flipped her car. They're still looking into why. And Alejo Road in Palm Springs is now back open near Burton Way after a two-car crash shut down the road for nearly six hours. Police say one person was seriously hurt. No word tonight on that victim's condition. It's a clock. New at 6, a domestic dispute turns deadly in Cathedral City. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is now investigating the police shooting that's left one man dead. News Channel 3's Katie Weider was first on scene this morning and joins us live in studio with more. Katie, what are Cathedral City police officers saying about this shooting? Well, Zach, I'm told it started out as a domestic disturbance call around 630 AM. Officers responding to the 33,000 block of Wishing Well Trail not far from Ocotillo Park. When they arrived, the caller, a woman, was out front. She said she had escaped the home where her boyfriend had assaulted her and he was armed with a gun. The sheriff's department tells me their homicide unit has taken over the investigation. That is standard protocol after any officer involved shooting. Zach. Of course, a lot happening there, Cathedral City. Katie, we just heard from Cathedral City Police. As we said earlier, you were out there for several hours, and I know you talked with some of the neighbors there around the scene. What did they have to say about the situation? 
Well, Zach, it was a pretty wide array of emotions, really. Some people were surprised, telling me it's generally a quiet neighborhood. Others, though, say neighborhood violence has become so frequent that they're moving out of state. And another man was really angry with the police. We'll actually hear from a neighbor coming up tonight at 11. All right, Katie Weiner, thank you very much. We'll look forward to your report coming up on News Channel 3 at 11 o'clock.